Welcome everyone, uh, we have another test for you today. We will be testing uh, MacArthur Internet Security going up against Strength Antivirus Plus or also known as Antivirus Plus Security. We have McCarthy um, on the left. So we will just quickly go through all the settings. Okay, so we have um, enabled the improved antivirus protection to send those um, suspicious files. Okay, we'll go to real-time scanning. Okay, so with McAfee, there's not really much that you can change on the real-time scanning. Go to firewall. Okay, smart access modes enabled. Um, Smart um, advices enabled. Um, Netcard is enabled. Okay, and that's about it for for that side. Okay, browser security. Okay, that's all. Just the reports. So, startup access protection, access protection is enabled. And that is about it. So, for um, Trend Micro, everything is enabled. We set it to hypersensitive. Um, it is set to normal mode for um, web threads, um, network is um, activate the firewall exception list is our um, script and the other one is for the websites under other settings uh, it's extra security network settings smart network and that is about that so nice quick and easy um, we're just going to quickly disable the protection so that we can get the malware extracted and then we'll look at the uh, um, final settings and then we'll um, continue the test. Now that all the malware has been extracted, we are going to test uh, 1,948 samples, malware, PUP, ransomware, Word documents, file lists, scripts, etc. Um, we're just going to quickly just check for updates. Okay, so now that the products are up to date, as you can see. Okay, so products are up to date. Um, as well as the extensions for Edge has been enabled as well. I just wanted to show you guys this. Okay, I think it's time to enable real-time protection. So that's back on. Uh, it seems like it is running a scan. Okay, so I'm just busy canceling that. Okay, so I think we can jump into the web protection test. I'm just waiting for Trend Micro to actually activate the protection. Okay, now that everything is enabled. Okay, Trend Micro is good to go. It says it's protected. Okay, let's start this web test. Okay, it seems the McCarthy one is a bit slower. That's fine, we'll do trend micro in the meantime. Okay, so trend micro is actually stopping a lot of the 
the links to open Okay, so this is quite interesting. Okay, let's say we want to keep it. Keep. Okay, so it seems like that is done. Okay, so let's start with McAfee maybe. Um, malicious website. Suspicious, risky. Okay, so it seems like only two websites might have opened, but also interrupted. Okay, while we wait for that, let's see what Trend Micro. Okay, so it seems like there is a delay for Trend Micro. Seems like a smart screen filter is quicker to actually determine, I think. Okay, that one is still loading, still loading. Sorry guys, I know it's a bit uh, time consuming, but let's just go through this so that you guys can just see it live. Okay, so these ones are still trying to load. Okay, so McCarthy was definitely quicker to analyze the, the website. Seems like it either might be an integration issue or um, Trend Micro is just slower to pick it up. Then obviously Smart Screen Filter does it first. That's how it looks like to me. But obviously um, Trend Micro is actually stopping the majority of these pages. But in the next test, we'll just obviously, for all the other vendors, we'll just disable the smart screen. Make sure it doesn't interfere. Okay, so some of these pages are still loading, so let's see what downloaded. Okay, so McCarthy obviously interfered with these downloads, so they basically um, are useless. This is the only one that seems to have downloaded, and a um, fake uh, malware bytes thing maybe oh no sorry that that was actually um, a removal tool that I had to use for malware bytes malware bytes didn't want to um, update on this machine so sorry for that um, it seems like this is the only file okay so McCarthy did better in the web test than in micro okay so it wants to restart but we're not gonna restart it um, There's no malware running on the machine, so I'm not going to reboot it. I think it's just a precaution for McCarthy to make sure. Okay, so let's jump into the malware execution. Uh, okay, I think McCarthy might have blocked that one. Let me just quickly copy it over. Okay, apologies for that. I uh, don't know that that um, script of mine was going to be deleted but it is running now okay so both these are not happy so that's a good sign they are already detecting malware i'm gonna sit here um, keep an eye on them and once it's done we'll look at the results
And the malware test is finally done. Okay, so you guys can see on the right hand side it's not looking good at all. Um, for McCarthy it's not looking that much better. Um, this is similar to the Norton and the malware bytes test. Um, as you guys can see for McCarthy it's similar to as what it was for Norton. Um, desktop everything disappearing. Um, obviously Internet Explorer is, for some reason is using a lot of CPU. Um, let me just see if I can get it going quickly. Okay, so four on the right hand side, I can only seem to um, type, obviously the ransomware is blocking me. Uh, but before this one, I did notice that the MacNiber ransomware was starting to encrypt some of the files um, on the Trend Micro machine, but it wasn't as bad. So I kept the test running, and then um, a while after that, obviously, this is the screen that we stuck into. So we can only type and whatnot, but everything else is completely locked out. So um, we cannot even get to anything. So obviously mouse movement doesn't work, but it does seem like we can maybe use a bit of keyboard. Um, let's see if we can get some of that stuff closed. Okay, so it seems like we do have Explorer now back again. But yeah, so this is pretty much, um, I think this machine is at its end. So let's quickly have a look, see for, um, let's see if we can actually get to, uh, ha, okay. <laughs> okay, so I'm jumping the system a bit here, so I don't know if you guys can actually see it clearly but we do have one startup item here we have something with Kaspersky there which is odd then we have this new um, power settings this SI soft and that seems to be, to be it um, for McCathy let's quickly have a look see what's happening on this side um, see McCathy wants to restart to remove threats we'll do that Okay, just quickly gonna go through it. Okay, so it seems like we have this malware. Let's quickly see what virus total has to say. While we wait for H to open. A uh, bunch of command prompts and PowerShells and whatnot running. Uh, and then same as Norton we have a bunch of calculators so it is quite a similar outcome as Norton and Malwarebytes as with Trent Micro and McCarthy So let's quickly have a look see at the um, startup items. Okay, um, <laughs> we do have quite a bit of startup items. Um, yeah, well, I'm not even going to count them. As you guys can see, <laughs> there's quite a bit of startup items. Uh, 
I'm just gonna take a couple of them just to see what they are. Okay, JavaScript. Let's take this one. Uh, VBScript. And another VB. Okay, so we're gonna close all of this. Um, so as you guys can see quite a lot of pages did open up uh, let's just see the virus total results that didn't open up sorry guys I don't want to waste unnecessary time Okay, so let's see what our friend Virus Turton has to say. Um, quite a bit of vendors are picking up this malware. Okay, but other vendors. Um, okay. Okay, so obviously it's a file that's not digitally signed. Okay, so these are all the funny web pages that opened up. Uh, let's just close all of this. Same web pages that open up on the Norton machine. Okay, so let's um, stop this. Um, I'm gonna see if I can able if I'm, if I'm gonna be able to restart this machine. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to. Uh, let's do it this way. see if we can run it that way okay so this one's gonna restart I'm gonna quickly restart the McCarthy and then we'll start with the full scans Okay guys, so all the scans are completed. Um, I just have to point out for Trend Micro, the scan was closed when I got back up my desk. So I did a quick scan and then I did a full scan again. But the full scan only scans about 1300 and X amount of samples. Then it says it's completed, which is impossible. <laughs> there's no way that the full scan finishes is in five minutes. So I'm not sure if there's something else wrong with the product or something wrong with the system that's interfering with the scans but I'm just pointing that out so for McCarthy um, it's complaining um, that it can't remove two threads so let's quickly see the details um, and obviously we do have still a lot of samples here um, and Trent Micro is not removing them I did manage to get the malware I'm closed by task manager <laughs> with a big hustle, but I got it closed, so hence why we can see the desktop again. Um, so it is malware on the desktop, so that's fine. So I'm gonna close this, uh, gonna restart this machine so that we can jump into the third party pinion scans and um, finalize this test and then look at the um, final end results and then we'll get to the conclusions and yeah and then we can wrap this test up okay guys it's time to wrap this test up so let's quickly have a look at the results uh hitman pro um uh, startup item uh not much there 
uh, for Trend Micro, <laughs> it's a completely different story. So we have a lot of um, files on the um, update the roaming, uh, update the roaming and uh, new folder that was created then obviously under temp, but then we have uh, under drivers, and then it's the bunch of malware that's on the desktop. Uh, there's temps again, uh, update the roaming, uh, on the roaming again, and then temp temp again, so it's all in here, update the roaming, so I'm just gonna skip it a bit. Uh, some of the files are still uploading, um, so there's uh, on the downloads, that one that downloaded in the web test. And then we've got directly on the C drive. Okay, so not looking good. Let's close that. Uh, let's look at Norton. So we have app data roaming, roaming again, Microsoft. So this is a couple of stuff that slipped through. Um, roaming, roaming, and then app data roaming. Okay, so we've got a couple of um, uh, files there. Uh, for Trend Micro, uh, update the local, update the roaming, 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 roaming. Um, quite a couple of things there as well. Okay, let's have a look at MSYSOFT. So we have app data, uh, sorry, program data. Um, there's a VB script there. Um, directly, it seems like it's directly under my user account. Yeah, so a couple of stuff in my user account. Then, um, obviously, app data, app data roaming. Uh, there's malware on the desktop. And then we've got a scheduled task, uh, Trojan. And another VB script, so obviously that's persistent, starting up every time. Okay, now for uh, Trend Micro, uh, program files, uh, a couple of things are installed, app data, app data local, app data local, also on the temp folder, so quite a bit of stuff. Obviously, it missed all those malware on the desktop. Uh, downloads and that seems to be it okay now for malware bytes okay let's have a look see so up app data as well uh, app data roaming got a couple of stuff there malware on the desktop And then we've got a couple of registry keys, backdoors, trojans, you name it. Okay, now for Trend Micro. Program files, remote manipulator system. That sounds very legit. <laughs> um, app data, uh, local. So yeah, malware is all over the place on this machine. Okay, let's go down, malware desktop. And then we've got a bunch of registry keys. Yeah, we've got quite a bit of keys. Uh, let's just close this. Okay, so in the meantime, um, let's quickly look at stuff that has actually installed. So for McCarthy, um, we have a couple of files here or things that actually installed. Um, we have this update. I'm not sure if it's the Magnabird fake Windows update, but um, it does say update. And then we've got this looks like Russian or Ukrainian um, certificate thing. Uh, crypto, crypto Pro. Um, then we obviously have a couple of POPs for Tent Micro, also an installer, PDF merge. Um, remote manipulator, so that was the one that was detected in Mowerbytes and other ones, and then the same one that's installed for uh, McCarthy. Okay, so that's that. Now we're just gonna have a look, see at what is running and what is the startup. Okay, it's 
startup items, startup items. Okay, for McCathy, it seems like we still have quite a bit of startup items. Uh, we're just waiting for that to load. Okay, now for Trend Micro, we obviously have this one startup item. Uh, two, three, four startup items. Let's have a look at what this is. Okay, so that's the JavaScript. program files obviously that program that installed uh, app data local generic tools okay for uh, McCarthy the startup items are a lot worse um, one two three four five six seven eight nine ten 11 12 13 14 startup items that's quite a tick <laughs> Um, I'm not going to look at all of them, let's just look at a couple of them. Okay, so a couple of file list stuff. That seems to be broken, that one. Yeah, more VBs. Yeah, so quite a bit of startup items. Doesn't seem like anything is running now. Um, ouch. <laughs> okay. We have quite a couple of things here. Let's just see what virus total has to say. Uh, while I wait for virus turtle, um, oh yeah, there is something wrong on this machine with the browser. It's not opening up the pages. So for um, Trend Micro, um, we'll obviously look at the files now. But let's just quickly do this. seem like we can copy it over for some reason. Okay, there we go. You guys can't say that I'm not doing any effort in my videos. <laughs> I'm really trying to show this. Okay, just bear with me guys. Okay, that one doesn't go through. Okay, cool. So let's just look at some of them. So these are the ones um, that were detected. A couple of ones there. So, yeah, so virus turtle is definitely picking up uh, that some vendors do. Uh, which is funny enough, is Trend Micro House Call, the malware scanner, is picking it up. So I'm not sure why the, the AV itself is not picking up. So that's quite disappointing. Um, okay, so now for the the files itself. Okay, let's have a look at desktop. Okay, so nothing there. Desktop seems to be okay. Downloads. Okay, good. So obviously our downloads have been infected with the Magnabur, um ransomware. So obviously our zip file has been encrypted there. 
um, and as you can, can see the shields are there so these are protected documents and folders which obviously it did not do its job um, ransomware infection there as well um, for McCarthy our document seems fine but we do have two unnecessary files there um, pictures for McCarthy seems good um, 10 micro um, obviously infected and with that same um, extension that we had with uh, Malwarebytes and then when we have a look at it so if we so I took the I took one of the files uploaded it with the ransomware note um, so it is definitely identified as Magnabur um, let's just close this yeah so guys I think this is the end of this test um, pros and cons, McCarthy at least did manage to stop the Magnumber. Um, in my samples there were about 10 different ones, um, 10 Magnumber ransomwares, obviously with different hash, hash values. Um, so simple McCarthy did manage to... stop the um, ransomware at least but this machine is definitely compromised we have um, a bunch of startup items we have malware outside the normal locations um, McCarthy itself complained it couldn't remove two files but it uh, was just malware inside of the um, malware folders um, so those are the cons pros at least um, um, we still have our pictures and documents um, it did manage to stop the Magnumer, so at least there's no ransomware infection. So very similar results to Norton um, from our last test. So um, not great results by McCarthy, but clearly better than Trend Micro at this point. Um, so McCarthy can maybe step it up a bit, but not bad. But unfortunately, um, the machine is definitely compromised. For Trend Micro, um, yeah. It is banned because obviously all our files have been infected. It could not stop the um, Magnumer and obviously as you guys saw, uh, we had that other malware uh, blocking up the screen. I had to, uh, via task manager, I had to end it so that I can just get access to the machine. So this machine is completely compromised. There's so many IOCs, I don't think we can even count them. So uh, unfortunately, can't really say anything positive about Trend Micro at this point. Um, Trend Micro has also not really impressed me um, during my tests. It's always been um, disappointing for me. And yeah, I think this is the end of the test, guys. Let me know what you guys thought. Um, let me know about some more tests. Um, you guys have uh, requested that we retest malware bytes and things like that, and other tests of Norton and Defender. I'll start with those tests um, as soon as possible, but let me know for other uh, versus tests. Um, if you guys want to put free against paid or um, stuff like that, let me know and I hope this test was informative and I'll catch you guys again.